Good evening. Today it's September 7, 2023. Here is the two minutes encouraging words. Um, I'm very happy today because personally, I think there is something happening in second heaven. No idea what's happening, but it's the good thing for all the believers and the Romans. Right, here is the two minutes encouraging words. Knowing God's will is not enough. Luke 1, 34 Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? I was concentrating on this scripture, and I was just asking God, God, everyone is talking about know the God will first. And when you know the will of God, what are we going to do? We don't know. Most people don't know, even though they read so many millions and millions of top-notch books. And yes, you know the will of the Father in your life. But after knowing the will of the Father in your life, what are you going to do? No one knows that. So I seek God's in prayer, wisdom in prayer, and asking God, okay, knowing God's will, is it enough? Or do we need to know more? Or what do we need to do after knowing your will? Do all the anointed minister truly know your will on their life? Some of them might have known, but after they have known the will of your will upon your, uh, their lives, what are they going to do? With, what are they doing? Do they know how to pursue it? Or are they really pursuing it? Or are they just floating with the flow? So, this is what I've written. Constrat Mary questions and Gabriel responds with the question that Zechariah asks Gabriel and the response that he received, which is Luke 1, 18 to 20. You will find the questions are similar, but the responses are totally different. Both Mary and Zechariah ask how these miracles would occur, but it is evident that Mary was asking how in faith, while Zechariah was asking how in unbelief. It is a clear Bible teaching that unbelief does not please God. Hebrew 11.6 But the Lord does not mind us questioning Him for the purpose of instructions so we can cooperate with His will in our lives. Abraham knew that it was God's will for him to have a son, but Abraham and Sarah came up with their own plan which caused them and the world much grief. Genesis 16, 1-6 Abraham would have avoided many problems if he has asked the Lord how he was going to accomplish this miraculous um, event. I'm going to use the word miraculous event. If Mary had not questioned this angel, she might not have reasons that Jesus would be born through the natural union of her and Joseph. This would have been a grave mistake. It would have disqualified her from being used. It is not enough just to know God's will. We need to continue to seek the Lord until we know God's plan for accomplishing that will. I'm going to repeat the last um, couple of sentences. If Mary had not questioned this angel, she might have reasoned that Jesus would be born through the natural union of her and Joseph. Understood? This would have been a great mistake. It would have disqualified her from being used. It is not enough just to know God's will. We need to continue to seek the Lord until we know God's plan for accomplishing that will. Knowing God's will is not enough. Thank you.